hey guys welcome back to the channel this video i have been trying to record for the past 26 hours i did 15 to 16 tries and i was never able to complete this mission i will be rambling off because i'm so frustrated with the few things that has been put in this game which i did not realize actually what happens is we are so mesmerized with this story and what we see in the story that oftentimes we miss how paths of the combat dynamics of this game is so shabby that we don't realize it anyway so this mission is in valentine and the objective is we are supposed to rescue the hostages that are present in different buildings in the town which is very typical of the Rockstar multiplayer missions, the Red Dead multiplayer missions, where certain things are hidden in certain places on the map. We are supposed to find it. And thankfully, there is no time limit, at least in standard difficulty. I don't know about the harder ones. But we have to stealthily sneak in and save the hostages. If you are not able to be stealthy, hostages will die because we have a witness system which will go and inform other places where the hostages are held and they will kill the hostages so this is the gist of what is expected in this mission the frustrating part is every time i tried completing it in stealth mode without any sort of rhyme or reason the guards detect the player and the firefight starts and i will actually make a video maybe sometime tomorrow i will actually make a video where i will sum up i think i have six or seven of those recordings where you can see i'll even put it in slow motion you can see that without any rhyme or reason the guards just start firing we were nowhere near them but still okay the first guy we rescued was a bit easy because he is in a corner of the map and just shooting the person holding a gun to him is enough and he is able to run away. This is a bit tricky because the arrow I am using is the normal arrow and unless I have a headshot the guys don't die. So what I did is I dealt with the first guy with a knife, the second guy with an arrow and that is the guy holding a gun. We deal with this guy here. And if you can see, the lady is not able to run away. The reason being, we have two more out here. Now, if you are playing it, be aware of this shed because usually the guy who is supposed to be the messenger is sweeping there. So, he's not there. That means he's on the other side of the house. I played this so many times. I know where the enemies are. At least till half of the mission I'm able to do because the other half I've never been able to do. And this time I realized or I decided that if I'm able to complete stealthily well and good, if not, I will complete it with a shotgun. I brought my shotgun along. And if hostages die, I'm sorry for that. The other guy should be somewhere around here in the corner. There he is. Once this corner is completed, these two outskirts are completed. Now what I like doing is approaching from the corner of the grocery store. That helps us in two ways. There is one guy who is usually on the corner of the pub on the first floor. And the other one is in behind the grocery store. So we will wait till the guy comes. Because you know reasons Red Dead Online guards can see at an infinite distance. So better be cautious. So once he started climbing up the stairs, there is the guy. We deal with him and now it's the turn of Mr. Lantern. These two dealt with. Next, we have an option to go into the pub, the saloon or the grocery store. Now if we enter the grocery store and guys, if you are playing this, try approaching the buildings from the back door. I usually go and collect my arrows because I have a limited supply. This door is closed for some reason. You're not able to open it. And now we have to enter from this one. There's a drunk rumbling about in the first floor, in the corridor of the first floor. We have to wait for that guy. There he is. Now there are two of them downstairs facing the wall. One is facing the bar and the other is facing the wall. We dealt with this one on the bar and surprisingly now he did not hear. This guy did not hear it. So we can deal with him.
and the lead is inside this room. We can check one or two furnitures if you find the list where the hostages are but in most cases I was not able to find it. If you guys find it let me know where it was but I think it will be a dynamic placement which will change from mission to mission so I don't think so it will be the same place every time. Anyway I made a short about this guy who is by the sheriff's office. I think sometime back I uploaded the shot. He is the riskiest guy to come, come across because he is able to track you even if you are on the other side of the fence. So next target is the church. If you are trying it, be very careful because this guy standing by the light in the church aimed at the hostage, he has infinite vision as well. Speaking from experience. Now that we are here and almost at right angles to him, I think we can take care of him. Now this building is a bit risky because you will just notice if I open the door, the hostage is inside. But this guy is facing the corner door. I don't know why, but he is not able to see us. But be very careful. He can see through the windows. Take the long route, enter from the front door and take care of him. Now I ran around a little, but I did not find anything worth investigating and I don't think there is any hostage. There might be a hostage in the railway station, but we will come to that later. Take care of this guy and this is where it goes wrong I think because if you look carefully the guy in the sheriff's office is wobbling about. I don't know if he saw us or if he saw his friend getting killed but something I think maybe he saw because this was the last guy we were able to take out silently. After this someone starts shooting. I tried to avoid a fight as much as I could. I went around the map, used a bow for some more time but as you can see the game forces our hand. I had to bring the shotgun out and there are four ostriches left. We saved three of them and usually around this time you will see a lot of enemies coming into the town. They spawn sometime around this time and they start shooting. They start a mayhem. I tried to emulate the bank robbery mission in the story mode where we break the windows and start shooting and I was able to take out using the shotgun more or less I was able to take out. Now we see somebody running in the map with a red eye. I expected somebody to die and around this time a hostage was killed. I think some hostage was there in the barn. Either in the barn or in the railway station. Just to be sure that no more hostages are killed I had to take them out. This was the final guy running. Now back to the fight. This. A serious amount of combat happens I think in the bank. Uh, be very careful if you are dealing, if you don't have a close quarter combat weapon. Point to note here is this will be much easier if we have multiple people in our party. But if you are doing it alone, definitely it is difficult. It is not meant to be done alone but still why shouldn't we be able to do it? I think that is my question. Okay, he's done. Now we saved one more, three left. Now it's two left. There should be one in the hotel, I think, you know. At least one of them should be in the hotel. Okay, they're upstairs. And one more. If I remember correctly, the guy in the sheriff's office was all verbally, so he's still there, I believe. Yes, he's there. Guys, if you find any bandit in the sheriff's office, I think there will be a hostage. And if there's a hostage, you will need the keys from the bandit to open this cell and free this guy. Now, all... I think 9 was saved, 1 of them was killed. Good result in my opinion because I was not able to do it. I was trying this from yesterday. I sacrificed my sleep, sacrificed a part of my office work in order to complete it because I wanted to complete the whole thing in stealth mode and that would have been great I think. But my goodness it was frustrating, it was frustrating. And I will make a compilation, maybe sometime tomorrow when I have time, I will make a compilation of the endings, how my cover was blown. And anyway, these overexcited people need to be dealt with. And if you have a close quarter weapon, let them come closer and then you can deal with them. 
and try to run into the wildlands because I think it is easier to get rid of them because on the other side there's a river and if you're not able to get the bridge and you end up on the river water they will shoot you every one of them will gather on the river bank and then deal with you and I think that's it yes we are done that's it for this video my friends I understand I rambled a lot I was very frustrated let me know how the video was did you guys try this mission how many of you are trying it and do you guys like it how many of you were able to do it completely in stealth mode I'm sure many of you would be able to do it it's not something that is impossible to do I was not skilled enough to do it but do let me know in the comments and see you guys in the next video